welcome to our show. Right now we're going to make raw lemon squares. How absolutely divine. This is the season for citrus and people are thinking lemon meringue pie, but we're thinking lemon bars or lemon squares. They're nutritious and delicious. Luscious lemon bars. Here we're going to start off with the almonds first. We're going to do two cups of almonds. And we soak our almonds and then we re-dehydrate them for this recipe. We have two cups of almonds and we're going to grind that down into a coarse meal, but we're also going to need some lemon rind. And so if you don't have a grater at home, we will learn a quick way to make lemon zest. And so we just use this really amazing peeler. Like I said, it does everything. You saw me do ginger with it. And we just peel the lemon rind. And we want the lemon rind of two lemons. You'll notice that our lemon zest is nice little small pieces like that. So if you want, you can continue to grind it, but remember we're going to add the coconut and then we're going to grind it some more. So we just don't want there to be big chunks of lemon when we add the coconut. So we're going to add four cups of coconut flakes. This is going to do a large tray. So if you weren't going to be doing a large tray, then you could use one cup of almonds and three cups of coconut flakes and the rind of one lemon. So for every four cups of dry ingredients, you use one cup of sugar, okay? There we go. Now what we do is we also have this little hand citrus juicer. And guess where we got that from? Cresco. Cresco. And we only buy one. We buy the orange one because I figure I can do lemons in it, I can do limes in it, and I can do oranges in it. But if I got a smaller one, then I couldn't do bigger things. So I am frugal. One size fits all in this particular thing. So we cut our lemon in half, and after we put the half in, I just put the second one in right on top of it because the pressure will just squeeze out more juice from the one that was underneath. You turn it to its side. So we want the juice of two lemons. And so you'll notice that the dough doesn't spin and it gets a lot wetter. That's pretty much what it's going to do. We just want to scrape it down a little bit, see if we can spread out that moisture a little bit. But we do want it to become dough-like. Before it was like a powder. And so see now, now it's starting to spin and it's becoming more dough-like. it down until it starts to spin and then once it started to spin you let it spin until it decides it's going to stop. Now on lemon squares we are going to have a really it's not like a, a pie where it's a crust this is actually an essential part of the lemon square so we're going to use the whole thing because the lemon frosting is literally going to be that more it's going to be a frosting rather than the meringue that you would typically see on a pie that's twice as high as the crust. There we go. And we just spread it. We like to make everything in spring form pans because after it sets, it makes it really easy to mark. Okay, so that's how I high up, like to there, it goes on our crust. Now we're going to make our filling. So for our filling, we need more coconut meat. Okay. So that's the meat of two coconuts. That's how many I used in the recipe that I'm going to serve you. You can increase it if you want it to be thicker, but then it costs more money, so you might not want to do that. And we use two cups of lemon juice. Lemon juice that we squeeze. Actually, Kyle squeezed this from Meyer lemons that we got from KMK Farms the other day. So. Okay, that wasn't wood, so that's good. And then we are going to add some sugar to it. And our sugar of choice today, because we want it to be thicker, is honey. Because honey will start to bind things together. If you don't want to use honey, you could use maple syrup. But maple syrup will not bind it as well as honey will. And of course our honey is local, and our maple syrup is not. So there's some recipes like in our pecan pies that the maple syrup flavor is essential, but in recipes like this, it's not. 
Okay, so one and a half cups of honey. So what do you think other than Irish moss, which is an under the sea moss, we could use to thicken this? We're going to use bananas, right? Bananas are the perfect color for this dish. They're gonna blend in very nicely. They're inexpensive, available locally, and easy to deal with. And we use four in this recipe. I wouldn't use less than four. You can always use more if you like. Same thing. That's what we did in our pecan pie, where it called for lecithin and stuff. We just used bananas. That's what gave me the idea for using it here. I figured if it worked in my pecan pies, why can't it work in lemon? Okay, and we're looking at the sides of our basket. As long as we can see little white flakes, that tells us that the banana hasn't totally dissolved. If you were using your Vitamix, obviously it would be done very, very quickly, right? Now I made up this recipe this morning, but I did try to make one batch and it tasted good to me. I didn't see if it set. That was our big test. So we'll have to see when we pull it out of the freezer. Now I am allergic to citrus. That doesn't help me very much, but I did try it anyway. Okay, so this still has to be blended more, but I just let it blend while I was doing other things and eventually it was smooth, so. Well, oh, I forgot. Guess what we forgot to put in here? Good thing I tasted it. We need the rind of two more lemons. And so if you were making your own lemon juice, then it would have been easy because you would have had lots of lemons to do. But we had done them all ahead of time. So I'm gonna go ahead no, it was a rind of four lemons. Sorry guys, in the filling it was a rind of four lemons. Because I did two like I did in the crust and it wasn't enough. I would definitely wash the outside of my lemons before I started to do the lemon zest, okay? Like that tasted to me really flat. And then when I added the lemon zest, then it's really nice and punchy. Now typically speaking, you're not supposed to juice. I get this question. You're never supposed to juice the peel of an orange or a lemon when you juice. There, it's actually not good for you, the peel, in those instances. So I think probably in recipes like this, it's okay. But if you're regularly juicing, you wanna make sure. And so now, see, doesn't that look like a lemon? Frosting, right? The color changed, everything looks good there. Very nice on them. Okay, we pour it in and we set this in the freezer. Could you go into the freezer and get from the top shelf on the left hand side? If we let this sit overnight, for sure it will freeze. I mean, it's only logical, right? That it will eventually freeze. So we don't really need, like when you're asking, should we use lecithin, should we use Irish moss? It's just a matter of time. Some people want it to thicken really quickly within an hour or two. So this, I put in just a couple of hours ago. Yes, please. And you'll notice that it's already starting around the edges to freeze, right? Mm -hmm. So when I serve you now, and this is the glass dish that I thought it looked really pretty in, you know, because then you get to see the crust and you get to see the frosting and everything like that. So when I serve you now, it's going to be more like a lemon pudding, but if you had this all frozen and you took it to a party, who would guess that it was a raw dessert, right? So ta-da, here's our lemon squares. And that's our lemon square. Okay. As it slides across the plate. 